And as 2023 elections draw near, one Nigerian that has made her intention to run for the office of the president is Khadija Okunu Lamidi. The Khadija today was on our program and she said it is time for Nigerians outside of politics to come into the political space of the nation's leadership. I think there's a huge gap in the political space. Um, what I've done should have, should have been expected from most of our um, leaders out there. Um, we see a business of silence these days. Um, things are going wrong. The ship is, we, we, it's clear the ship is sinking. And I don't think it's time for us to point, point fingers, number one. It's time to actually take, you know, show leadership by example. It, not, not that, you know, there are no worries or no fears, but you need to put those things aside and actually put the, the nation in front and put it, you know, set the agenda and let people, you know, understand that there's, there are ways to go about it to rearrange the polity and make it work, make Nigeria work for everyone. While addressing the security situation in the country, she said she is bringing strategies to end the current challenges the Chin nation is facing by engaging and listening to voices of those involved. Well, some of the reasons for insurgency is idleness of our youth and, you know, people's voices, people feel their voices are not heard. And these are the issues that we need to tackle. We cannot do it from one, um, you know, from one state. You have to actually go around and actually listen to what the concerns are and bring everybody to the table and let the resources that are, we, ha we have ample resources. We're dependent on just one. We need to bring back all these resources and let people, let Nigerians benefit from the Nigerian resource. And you'd realize that insecurity comes from Job, joblessness, it comes from, you know, lack of health care, it comes from lack of education. These are the issues that um, surmount to becoming um, insurgency. So, you know, throughout the course of our com campaign, we're going to visit every single state. We're going to have, you know, these roundtable co conversations and discussions and actually find out what exactly are the issues because, you know, from different angles, you hear different stories. Let, let me hear exactly what it is, and then we'll come up with a robust plan on how to solve um, you know, the, the different issues, and that overall um, solves the um, security be, issue. Be The presidential aspirant also stressed the need for the current political structure of the nation to be fixed. I need us to understand that structure, are, they are not, you know, we talk about it like they are people. Structures are made up of people. And what you need to do is ensure that you have as, m as much um, connection to the people as possible. So the existing structures, you could say they are accounted for. You could, but I don't really believe that they are. Because right now, 20% of, if we only get 20% voter turnout. That is not a clear indication of the voice of the people. So we need to activate the structures which are people that we haven't, that have been disenfranchised or just, you know, voter apathy. They just don't want to take part in the, in the process because they don't believe in the process. So we need, to, we need to reawaken the people for them to speak up to what they really want. Here is a test of the people. It's not a test of a, a small few, I mean a few or a, a little group or a minority. We, it is a test of the majority. This is, is a majority we're reaching out to. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.